Right, lawmakers would like to ban plastic bags in stores. A new proposal calls for consumers rather to shift to reusable bags or pay retailers for paper bags. CBS 2's Magdalena Doris says if passed, Suffolk would become the first county in the state to ban plastic. Years of study show that plastic bags not disposed of properly not only pollute, but pose a choking threat to wildlife. Now a Suffolk legislator says it's time to get them out of retail stores and customer shopping carts. They have an impact on our drinking water. Uh, they block sewers and drains. They get trapped in our sewer treatment plants, and they're not necessary. Spencer's bill would require shoppers to bring their own reusable bags like this canvas one or pay 10 cents for each paper bag retailers would be required to offer instead. I think it's a good idea. It takes 10 years for the bag to uh, dissolve in a, a landfill. I don't mind if they get rid of the plastic bags, but I think 10 cents for a paper bag is a bit much. The legislation is specifically crafted to change public behavior, meaning that the public will learn how to bring our own bags to the stores. Environmentalist Adrian Esposito says her organization surveyed more than 600 county residents and found more than 80% supported a ban. But a spokesman for plastic bag manufacturers tells CBS2, quote, it makes no sense to ban an incredibly useful, reusable, and 100% recyclable product that supports more than 24,000 jobs nationwide. Some consumers say reusable bags or paper don't work as well to prevent cross-contamination from bacteria. That's not going to help with the leaky chicken package. You know, that's where I need plastic, and that's where I need it separate from the other food. Suffolk Republicans in the minority in the county legislature call the ban a death of a thousand cuts for the consumer. The proposal's first public hearing is set for March 22nd. In Suffolk County, Magdalena Doris, CBS 2 News. More than 15 states have enacted bans or fees on plastic bags. Similar measures in New York City have repeatedly failed, but backers say they'll try again soon.